I'm really, really excited. Our new home here at Harwell is a brilliant facility. You know, it's, it's really world leading and uh, I'm really pleased that our staff has a, have, a, have a new home that we can integrate and work together and innovate together across multiple functions and teams. And then we can use our, our new design facilities and our integration facilities and then eventually operate our satellites in low Earth orbit to solve the problem of space debris and make space sustainable for future generations. What a great day for AstroScale, but also a great day for country and, and the whole space sustainability world, community. Because there's nothing more important than ensuring that our orbits are safe and secure for ourselves and for the generations to come. We are increasing the amount of satellites in low Earth orbit, so we really have to make sure that we know how that environment is being kept sustainable. What makes today so special is it marks Astroscale planting a flag and saying, not only are we in the UK, but we are growing in the UK on the back of successful missions like Elsa D and onwards to the future. Astroscale is saying it wants to design and build in the UK, creating UK jobs and putting the space sector in the UK at the forefront of the global space economy. So we're working on two key missions here, here at our new facilities in Harwell. One is the uh, ELSA-M servicer, which will go into orbit and remove satellite in, by late 2024. So that's a really focused mission. We're actually receiving hardware here now at Harwell and we're starting to test and integrate new innovative hardware and software. And then the other mission that we're working on, uh, which is at a slightly earlier phase, it's a design phase, the UK ADR mission, which will go and remove two defunct UK registered satellites from low Earth orbit, making space more sustainable for everyone. I think that Astroscan um, has a part to play in the future endeavours of the UK space industry. Space sustainability is something that's in the national space policy and we've got to make sure that um, we find a way of making sure that our future space launches, whether that be um, from the smallest satellite to the largest satellite, has got sustainability and you know life longevity and doesn't leave a legacy behind that's going to end up cluttering up our space for future generations. I am so excited to, to see the opening of the Zeus building because this will open the door for the commercial business of the on-orbit servicing. My aim is to, is to make on-orbit servicing just a routine work by 2030.